just got out of meeting with my coach and um, had one of those moments, the <laughs> moments. We're going through my bag and one of the things I, you know, I said is I need to really get off the tee and know that I'm gonna get to the fairway or close to the fairway. And uh, I picked up my three hybrid and striped it. And he's like, okay, so you have confidence with that. Then I go to pick up my driver and I'm saying, okay, so, uh, you know, I, I, I need to swing a little bit slower at the top. And then like in my setup, I need to tilt a little bit. And he's like, what are you, what are you talking about? I'm like, well, longer club. I have to wait for it to set at the top and then fire through and he's like, but look at this. And so he takes two clubs, sticks one about a foot longer out and, he, and he, he's swinging him. He's like, does it take longer for one to close down than the other? And he's like, no, it's the same swing. And this whole time I'm thinking with your driver, you have to, you know, make a slightly different swing. And he's like, no. It's the same swing, it's the same circular motion. And I said, well, what about my tilt? And he's like, the only reason you tilt a little bit more on your driver is just, you know, being a little bit further away from the ball because with your driver and then you have it on a tee, it causes you to tilt a little bit. But other than that, you, it's the same swing. So he tees it up and he says, now use your three hybrid swing. I striped it, I mean, now, granted, it's not going far. It's, you know, landing carries about 250, and I don't care. I mean, it, it would be great to hit 300-yard drives, but right now, if I can just get in the fairway, get a short iron in my hand, I'm going to do well. And uh, it's frustrating because, you know, he's like, where did you pick that up from? I'm like, I don't know. It was some YouTube thing I looked at, which is funny because you're watching a YouTube video of me giving, you know, my insight. So take it for what it is. I'm not, I'm not a professional. I'm on my way to hopefully becoming a professional one day, but you know, don't get hung up on all these little tips because everybody's a little different, but it's, it all boils down to it's the same swing. Now, if you're trying to swing faster and harder with your driver to get it further, it's not the same swing you're gonna hit with your three hybrid. So what's more important? Hitting it further and inconsistent. So, you know, you watch Phil Mickelson, um, he's rarely hitting the fairways. I'd have to look the stats up um, and I'll post them here um, for you. But, you know, his fairway percentages aren't, you know, what you think of, right? But it's it's a long ways down there. He's also awesome with his short, short irons. Um, my game is different right now. I'm trying to hit fairways to put short or irons in my hand with a clean lie. And that's that's what I'm going for. So the biggest step takeaway from this is it's the same swing. You know, you always have your go-to iron. Well, it's because you're free swinging it. You're not worried about it. When you put a three hybrid, let's let's say you're not good with your hybrids or your four iron you put a four iron in your hand you start getting flippy or you do some your body will try to do what your brain is seeing the image right because the thing the thing that's hard to explain is your brain doesn't understand words you know do not hit it in the water well when you say that in your brain you're, you see the ball going into the water and that's what you see and that's what your brain is trying to replicate what it sees. It doesn't say not, right? So you kind of have to block that stuff out. I'm kind of all over the place right now, um, but the idea that it's the same swing with your driver for the better average player. Driver for a pro is gonna be different. But you know, let's let's work on getting into the 70s, and then then we can and tinker with trying to hit it farther. But at this point, I just want to get to scratch, and that's that's it. And mind blown moment of of the year, really for me. So 
I'll uh, I'll let you guys go and um, catch you catch you later. All right, tournament number two. Planning, going into a tournament. Check the weather. I did, but I didn't realize that it was gonna be 41 degrees when I woke up. It's now 48. How would I have done it different? I don't know, I don't know. Be prepared. Um, luckily enough, I had a jacket. Um, I had my heated vest and I will say this is the best investment I've made in years. I will post it below. I'm People make fun of me, it's fine, but I do not like to be cold. And this thing has heat in the neck, heat in the pockets, and heat in two places on my back. It's perfect, I love it. Um, so, going into today, um, one of the best things that I have found is the mental golf type. And I'll put a link in, link to the video below. You need to check this out. Go to the website and there's a free test that will actually tell you what your personality trait is. From that personality trait, it actually tells you how to approach golf. It, it blew my mind, again, um, what I found. Um, the way I approach golf, I was over analytical because by trade, I'm a computer uh, person, right? So I'm a computer programmer. And by trade, I am very analytical and break things down and want to know stats and all of this and pre-plan and, you know, target, I always was told to um, shoot for a very specific small target. All these different ideas about how I played golf was, um, wrong for my personality type the things you're gonna find on this is is truly mind-blowing there are um, four different types that make up who you are as as a golfer and it you know I mean I've done all the management personality traits and all that stuff and it's different your golf type is just a little different and the amount of knowledge I'm really interested to see how this tournament goes playing using my the knowledge about what kind of golfer I am um, so definitely go find out what kind of golfer you are um, they have a, a series that when you, when you actually go through and find out what type you are they'll send you a clip of here is an example of one of the uh, one of the videos that uh, you would get and that was enough that was enough for me. I immediately hooked into it and watched the whole series each for each type. I think there's like four uh, videos, but I'm gonna do a review of their entire site uh, in a different video, which is also uh, down below. So you can go watch that uh, when, you're, when you're done watching this. Um, <clears throat> so the things that I think about going into a golf tournament. One, you know, keep just keep my keep my heart rate down stay calm when I get to the golf course the first thing I'm gonna do is just go get the speed of the green I don't want to go to the range and just pound balls uh, because whatever swing I bring today is the swing I'm gonna play with I'm not gonna try and fix anything uh, I just want to see the ball flight and how I'm reacting it's a little cool so my body may tense up a little bit and I just need to, to watch, you know, is that gonna cause a draw? Is it gonna cause me to fade? And that way I will be able to play to that, um, play to that specific uh, shot pattern. So I'm gonna spend probably about 15 minutes just working on the speed of the greens. I'm not gonna go through my full putting routine. Um, I'm just going to throw down two balls and you know, do some lag putting for a while and get the speed. And then when I feel comfortable with that, I'll probably chip a little bit um, to get my short game fired up and ready. But uh, 
from there, I will go and uh, go to the range and start hitting full shots to loosen loosen up. Um, so once I get comfortable, my back feels good because I'm an old man, right? I'm going to be 50 this year, which is the purpose for this whole this whole thing um, <clears throat> is to get my body warm. You know, some people will work out. Some people will uh, do yoga, whatever it takes for you to get warmed up. That's what you need to do. And for me, it's just getting my swing out. I'll start off with the orange, um, the orange trainer. So that will help me loosen my back up initially. And um, then we'll, we'll go to the driving range. Um, and then probably about 15, 20 minutes before I need to go to my tee time, I will go and then go through my full putting routine. I'm only gonna use one ball and uh, just chip and putt and work on that and get confidence um, with my putting stroke, with my chipping, because really that's, that's the name of the game for me. And then go tee it up and relax, have fun, not think about it. Um, so that's, that's what I'm gonna do today and we're gonna see how that goes. So uh, I'll check back in after the tournament's over and let you know how it's going to go. Wow. Um. <laughs> So last time, I shot a 78 in one tournament, right? In my flight, in my flight. Um, <laughs> this time, not so much. Shot a 92, had a nine on a par five, and like an idiot, I picked up my ball and didn't put it out three inches from the hole. Immediate, drop back, hit it in, take a stroke. A nine. Uh, so, you know, I talked about before I started um, the, uh, the mental golf type. <laughs> Telling you right now, that stuff is real real I found my when I get stressed when it, it said when I get stressed that I actually start talking more I start putting myself down more and I get chatty which is the opposite of what I need to do and it was funny because I kept finding myself do it I <sighs> golf is it doesn't matter how good you are. If you're a scratch player, you're gonna get frustrated with a bad round. You know, obviously if you're a scratch, you probably shoot 75 and you're like, that's crap, I should have shot a 68. Well, if you're a 10 handicap and you shoot 92, you're gonna be like, ugh. I don't know, I'm gonna have to look back at my card and review it to actually talk about how many double pars I had, but two birdies, skins, I'm telling you right now, my mistake the first time I played in a tournament, I didn't get in skins. I got in skins, no one got skins. Everything was covered up except for one hole. One hole, $220. It, so the, when I won last time, I got $200 in gift certificates. I got 220 bucks in cash this time. That is awesome. Always get in skins. You're, it, eventually you're gonna get a birdie and you're gonna make up for it. $20 to get in, I want 220 bucks. 
Unbelievable. Unbelievable. So the course was very hard. Um, the, the, I didn't back one ball up. Didn't matter what shot I hit. Um, the, the pins were on different positions that were very difficult. They would be, you know, you would put it to the hole, come within two inches of it, and it starts dying a foot away, and then it just trickles and trickles and trickles and it picks up speed and it picks up more speed and your choice is to chip back because you're not on the green anymore I, but it's golf right we enjoy golf when we play good or we win skins so it made the 92 pretty dang sweet. Um, I don't know what it's gonna do to my handicap. Um, obviously I'm in, I'm in the beginning stage of trying to get to where I'm better. Um, I feel pretty good about where I'm at right now um, because I'm just picking it back up. I'm just getting going, right? After the last tournament, I remember, so I remember going into it thinking, um, why am I starting a YouTube channel to get to the pro, the champion, sir? This is, this is ridiculous because as you will, if you look back at the, the, the YouTube I posted on that round prior to that day, gosh, dog, what was it? I shot a 90, a 96, maybe. So going in that tournament had zero, had like zero expectations. And I shoot a 78. I'm like, I, I haven't shot that in 15 years. I don't know what I did. I tried to find that feeling today and there would be moments, right? So I would do a double par and then I would par. So bounce back huge. That was, that was very solid, but I just, I just, it just golf. Don't we love it? Don't we, don't we love it? Um, so, what did I learn today to get into skins? I learned that. But the biggest one is not to give up. Because in the past, like when I was down and I would have, like I would double par, I even caught myself getting fast and not taking the time to line up a putt. I just like, I'm like, I don't care. I'm already at eight. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna put it. I don't, you can't. In tournament golf, it does, in golf in general, every shot counts. I watched some, one of my, one of the guys I golf with today, he was a foot and a half out, didn't take his time and misses it, like by an inch. Take your time, slow down. No one's gonna get on your case. Um, yeah, it was good stuff though. So, um, the journey begins. I'm glad you guys are on, on the journey with me. So until next time, keep it in the short grass. That sounds silly, doesn't it? I need to come up with a better saying than that. Keep it in the short grass. <laughs> keep it findable. Keep it to where you can find your ball. All right, guys. We'll talk to you later.